Today we are going to discover how does increasing the tension of a vibrating object affect the pitch. In order to find this out, we need to define the term tension. When we are talking about tension, we are talking about either tightening or loosening an object. This is much like loosening and tightening the cap on a water bottle. In order to run our experiment to figure out how a vibrating object pitch will change by changing the tension, we are going to use a pencil, a tongue depressor, and a rubber band. You'll see that I attached the rubber band that's cut in half between the pencil and the tongue depressor with some masking tape. You'll also see that I have some masking tape on my surface that we will be working on. This is very important to the experiment. How do you think if I placed my items down like this, am I going to change the tension? Some of you may suggest that I'm going to change the tension of my vibrating object by pulling it or pull it, pushing it back together. This is not how we are going to change the tension for this project. This is actually changing the length and we want to make sure that we are seeing how tension affects pitch. In order to do that, it's important to make sure that your items stay on the masking tape on your surface. They should not move from the spot that you put them in. In order to increase the tension or tighten the tension, you are going to rotate the pencil, much like screwing on the water bottle cap. In order to decrease the tension, you are going to Unwind the pencil. What do you think will happen to the pitch as you pluck the rubber band? Go ahead and make your prediction now. We are going to go ahead and test the experiment. So I'm placing my pencil and tongue depressor down on the masking tape. I'm going to go ahead and pluck the string. You should hear the vibrating object making a sound. Now I'm going to increase the tension by winding up the pencil. Now my partner is going to pluck the rubber band again. You should hear a change in pitch. My partner and I are going to do this again and we're going to see exactly how it will affect the pitch. Right now I am decreasing the, and un, by unwinding the pencil, so the tension is not going to be great. My partner's going to continue plucking as I increase the tension by winding the pencil. You should hear the pitch getting higher as the tension increases. Now I'm going to decrease the tension by unwinding the pencil. You should hear the pitch getting lower. The tighter the rubber band, the higher the pitch. And the looser the rubber band, the lower the pitch. In order to figure out how tension affects the pitch, we are going to run another experiment. For this experiment, you're gonna need a container and a balloon. For the balloon, you're going to just cut off the tip. I have already done this with this blue balloon. I'm going to place the balloon on the container. Putting the balloon on the container, we are going to create an instrument much like a drum. You can see that the tension of my balloon is not great because there is a dip in the middle. So the tension is loose. I'm going to go ahead and flick it so you can hear what it sounds like. What do you think is going to happen when I increase the tension by tightening the balloon by pulling down on it? Go ahead and make your prediction now.
To tighten the tension, I'm going to pull the balloon down tight. The tension is tight and we do not see a dip anymore in the surface. Now I'm going to flick it again. Did you hear that the pitch changed? Here it is again. Here it is when the tension is loose. And here it is when the tension is tighter. You should have noticed that as the drum head got tighter or the tension increased, the pitch went higher. The same thing happened when we increased the tension of our rubber band. Therefore, we can conclude that pitch is changed by tension by increasing and decreasing the tension of a vibrating object. When you increase the tension, the pitch will get higher because the object will vibrate faster. But when we decrease the tension, it will vibrate slower, creating a lower pitch. This is how you know how pitch can be changed with tension.